This is Jack Lee from uh, Tencent, who is in charge of most of the area in the world, like part of the Euro, part of the Asia, and some uh, key accounts in the world. So my presentation will be focusing on the uh, important Chinese mar China's market and, 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 and how valuable the uh, market is and share with you some very useful and valuable data for China market and then it will be, hopefully it will be helpful for you to enter into China markets afterwards. Okay, let's get started from the uh, China's in internet markets, how the China's internet market look like. So let's see, let's backward for like 40 years ago, which is in a very dark age for China, actually that is in the uh, cultural revolution ages for China, everyone was actually striving for the basic living other than doing anything else. So that is not very good. And 10 years later, we eventually find a way to open and reform our country, but it's still in a very infancy stage, which is uh, even the leader of the country are trying to find the best way to, de to develop the country. And 10 years later, uh, let's backward to like 1995, uh, which is very important for China because uh, that is already in a very fast speed uh, developing period for China. Uh, there is a joke actually, that is if you bought a house property at that time, you don't have to work right now. Which means uh, actually the house property has been increased for 100 times than that period. That is a very horrible number. Also, uh, let's see the last picture actually is the uh, two picture for the modern city in China that is actually in Shanghai. Probably some of you have been to that city to, to, to join the China Joy uh, event every year. Uh, to verify what I said, let me show you a payroll for the chi normal Chinese people's incomes. That is, 40 years ago, actually, the, China, the, the Chinese people can only get 50 US dollars a year. Like, but right now, it turns like uh, even 50,000 US dollars per year, that is not a thing. So, which you can see, it's like tens or even 100 times than 40 years ago. That is a very big increase. And let's see how the Chinese user base looks like. You know, the China population has like uh, over 1.5 billion in global, which is, takes like one-fourth or one-fifth of the total population in global. And then half of the population are actually the international users. And even more, 90% of the of the internet users are actually the mobile internet users, so which is still very big. It's even like 1.5 times than the United States population. And then let's see the uh, China's leading board for the apps. It is not the uh, apps, apps, app store ranking list. It, it is actually the overall the all the all the app all the apps ranking list in overall the China's uh, internet markets. Uh, you can see that the first one and two are the WeChat and QQ, which is our all Tencent products. You probably, some of you probably have to use it. And also like Tencent Video, the QQ Browser, the QQ Music, Security Manager, and uh, some other apps. So that is the current situation. And uh, let's see those very important software and give you some details. Like WeChat, probably some of you have used this software, but you are using the international version, which means that for the Chinese uh, domestic version, that is totally different, which, which means that we have much more the functionality who has been, uh, which has been integrated in, into this app. You can use this app to do anything, like to pay uh, to, pay to the uh, e-commerce, to buy something in the real stores, even in the roadside stores, you can pay by the WeChat. It's very easy to do. Also, you can, also, some people even can make money from this app. Really, some people really make life from this app to do everything. So that is very important. Also, we do the game publishing in this app, which is actually a cash generator for Tencent. And then let me show you how the general Chinese apps look like, which is the first one is the biggest B2C, the e-commerce app which is named Jindong, also an investment company by Tencent, and then this is the company in Nasdaq. 
you know, the, Chinese, the China's uh, delivery efficiency is very high. How high is it? If you order something right now, you probably can get it right after you have dinner. That is super fast. Even in different cities, you can get it in one day or two days. So that allows the users to monitor where their product is in real time. That is very, very important because uh, everybody wants to get their goods as soon as possible. So it's very, it's very important to, 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 to allow them to monitor where the good is. Also, the second app is actually, actually the uh, China versions of, of Get a Taxi. It's very easy to understand. A third one is the uh, news feeds, which has already been integrated into the Tencent's uh, several, several apps like WeChat. So I'm going to show you how the Chinese typical games look like. Basically, the three apps are the very typical Chinese games, UI design, but they are not present all the kind of Chinese preference, but they are very, very typical. So the first one is actually based on the Chinese, the China's very uh, ancient kind, ancient style, the uh, Swordsman or the Kung Fu movie IP or the series, uh, which is repeatedly broadcasted in the TV sets in prime time every day. So which means that every Chinese is very familiar with such kind of the uh, IPs that apparently can make this, game, this kind of game very profitable. And then the second one is actually the, the, the uh, Crossfire's mobile version, which is uh, naturally could be very, very, very successful as well. And also the third one is uh, based on a very classic, the Korean games in the like, last decade, which is the uh, Legend of Miracle. You probably know about that. So that is the typical UI design of the Chinese games. Also, let me show you that how the Chinese online game, online game market look like. Okay, so see this page. We see that on this year, the China market has already overtaken United States as the number one gaming market in global by revenue. And even more, for the next two years, we forecast that the China market will take one-third of the gross revenue in global. That is very, really very big number. Uh, let's break down the China's uh, gaming market into three parts uh, by different the platforms. So apparently you can see that the China's mobile game market is getting much faster in terms of the gross rate than the other two kind of the games. So which means that in the mobile game markets, there is more opportunity for us to drive. And why? That is the reason. Uh, because of Tencent, in the last five years, we have a very significant growth in the past five years. You know, just think about like that. For a startup, such a, such a growth rate is not a thing, right? Because uh, it, is, it is still quite small. But for Tencent, for such a big giant in China, uh, to keep such a very big growth rate, is, it is not very easy to achieve. So that is, I think, for me, it is, very, it is very proud of. And then, what is the result? It made Tencent has been the number one gaming market in global, compared, even compared with the most famous uh, gaming company in the United States, by revenue. Why I have to emphasize it is by revenue? Because uh, our vision is not only to be the number one, the most profitable company in the world, but also want to be the most respectful company in the world, which means that we're not only to only want to make money, but also we want to bring the most excellent games for the Chinese, for the Chinese players. You can see that the United States even have been taken over by China, the gaming markets but they are still the, the wind indicators for most of the developers in the world. How come? Because uh, their games is still stands for the most advanced type in the world. So that is what we're going to do in the following years. Uh, I guess that most of the audience sitting here are the uh, mobile game related stuff, but I still think it's worth telling you about some pages about the Chinese, uh, the China's PC online games, because it's very important. It's still number one uh, share of the uh, gross China's gaming market. 
So uh, if we break down the Chinese game markets, you can see that PC online game market, you can see that the RPG game still takes the most share uh, in the chart, but it's, it's get to shrink. Because uh, the other two important types, the shooting games and mobile games, is getting bigger and bigger. And then see this chart, uh, Tencent has already taken like over 90% of most all the other kind of the market segments. But for the RPG kind of market segment, we still are quite young because we have to admit that we didn't, we, we, we haven't made a very good job on the RPG uh, general of the games. But what we are proud of is we keep bringing the most creative and innovative games for the Chinese players to play other than only playing and focusing on the RPG games. <laughs> so here is some example of, of, of our products and portfolio. Uh, strictly speaking, that Tencent is getting, from, is getting start, start from uh, the game business since 2008, but actually we start doing the uh, game business start from uh, 2003, which is uh, actually a mini game collection. And once we decided to, to do some uh, very authentic the PC online games in, in 2008, it's, it was booming up, which means that you can see that the Crossfire and the, and the DNF are actually, even now, the most successful games in China markets. And it makes us the, most, the biggest giant in the Chinese markets. And then uh, what I have to say is, in the following years, since 2008, we are getting to license more and more the Western games, which we think they can bring the users, our, 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 our customers, more the different experience. So that is our vision, and that is what we are keeping doing. So let's get into the most impo important part, that is the China's uh, mobile game market. So let me... Let me review the data again. That is, uh, for this year, the, China, the, the, the China's gaming mobile game market has already taken like one fourth of the gross revenue in global. And even more, that is, for the next years, we are going to take one third of the gross revenue in the world. So that is very remarkable things to do, right? So that makes nobody can ignore such a big market, even if it is not very easy to enter. So if we break down the uh, Chinese game market in terms of the value chain, you can easily find that for each segment, it takes like one third, almost like take one third of the total pie. Uh, but what we are, what I'm going to emphasize is, please focus on the light blue part, uh, which is actually that is. Um, the money that is actually made by our partners or some uh, company which is related to Tencent. So what I'm going to say is Tencent is not that kind of company who wants to make money by, this, by ourselves, but we also want to help the third party company or partners to, 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 to make money as well in this market because we believe that the talents, uh, the other kind of, sort, uh, of, 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 of resource, the thoughts, can help uh, grow in the market healthily. Okay. So this is uh, almost all the apps that we have been listed in the uh, first position in China market in App Store. That you can see there is over like 50% apps have been listed into the one the, the, the first position in China's China's App Store. Also, please see this chart. This is a little bit old uh, until March of this year. But I have to say, I just want to show you that how the Chinese uh, leaderboard looks like. Because for all the blue ones are Tencent games uh, in, the, in the past months. So I just show you the objective results that it comes out. Okay, for, for the uh, mobile game market, Tencent also takes a very significant share in China. 
Uh, that is not as powerful as the position we are in PC online games, but we are still doing good in such markets. Uh, that is most of the uh, important generals in China market. And I will sh I'm going to show you the percentage which each the market segment takes in China market in the following pages. So uh, this is to share with you some opportunities that how to do business in China for the game, for the game business. I mean, uh, let me, let's review the data again about the uh, China market that is uh, user base is growing very fast and the uh, paying will is also growing is, is also is also uh, growing very fast and also you can see the players is trying to get more more and more times to play games uh, all the three are the upsides for the uh, newcomers to enter in the Chinese into China's mobile game market and to look at the left charts, which shows the preference of the Chinese players. But it then stands for uh, the most profitable part of the, of the, of, of the Chinese market segment. Because look at the right part. We can see that the RPG games is still the most profitable game in general in Chinese market, but most of the Chinese uh, players would like to play some casual games. This is a little bit of conflict, but it makes most of the domestic developers would like to develop some, would like to develop some uh, the RPG games, which can bring in actually the real money. And then this is the challenges that how you can do in the China market. I think I don't have to emphasize, I don't have to explain every word, every words I post in the backboard. If, if, if I have time, I can explain it one by one for a whole day, but you know, I only have several minutes left. So uh, I only have to emphasize, I only have to show you the picture, which is to show you how chaotic and how fragmented the China market is and how many things that you don't know. So the different tastes between the West and the East, and uh, between the West and the uh, Chin Chinese players, right? Because uh, you can easily find out the RPG games are still the most uh, profitable game general in China. So uh, every domestic developer is trying to develop such a game, but still, you can see that there is only five percent percentage that the United States take in RPG general. So that is a big difference. And also, <clears throat> let's see how the Chinese fragmented the device, uh, the hardware, the configuration devices looks like. Uh, personally, I'm not very agree with the title low end, because you can easily find out there is only one third of the device are actually less than 120 US dollars, right? Because uh, there is more than two-thirds of the devices are actually in the middle or in the high end or high classes, high class. So uh, actually for the developers, you don't have to mind at all about the configuration of the device because uh, I think most of the devices can play any games here. But one thing you have to mind is there is really very, very fragmented, which means that there is very different devices in China. You have to consider adoption, the compliance of each devices. So you'd better to find out uh, a best <clears throat> partner to cooperate with in China to help you to, 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 to test every app you're going to put into the market. And then it shows the uh, fragmented app store in China's Android market. Uh, the data shows actually there is 300, more than 300 Android market in China. So you, even for me, I don't know. I cannot tell every name of them. So for foreigners, it's totally confused. And for the one-stop payment system, it's also very chaotic. Uh, you cannot find the right way to get a payment. Even some publisher, some developers think that they can easily get some users, get some traffic, but they cannot get a payment at all, which means zero. So what we can do and what you can do in the future, that is, 
I'm going to let you know uh, what is a typical corporation that Tencent can do in the market. What we can offer is, like, firstly, is the uh, social graph, the user base. Uh, if you combine the WeChat and QQ platform together, you can see, you can see that there is actually monthly active users at 1 billion people in China, only, only in China. That is a very huge number, right? And also, see, my app is, fortunately, is, is the biggest uh, app store in Android market in China. So that is the most easiest way, that is the easiest way to access uh, the games for the end users. And we have many talents to help do the promotion and the marketing stuff, and something like that. Also, we have very uh, mature the system to evaluate the games, like we set them into six steps. Once the games can successfully get through all the process, there will be a very, very big successful rate to be a big hit games in China market. So uh, what is our strategy in the future? First of all, we still want to maintain our advantage and favorable position in China markets. Secondly, we still want to expand our business in overseas market, both in the license in and the license out business. And third, we still want to, just like I said, our vision is to be the most respectful company in the world. So we don't want to only be a cash generator, we really want to be a, the wind indicator in afterwards. So that is our vision, and that is what we're going to do in the future. Uh, so thanks this time. Thanks for uh, all of you guys to listening to me for waiting for like two, 20 minutes. And if any one of you didn't make clear anything of it, just let me know, and I will reply you on site or even something you, don't, you want to know afterwards. You can just email me or let me know, whatever. Thank Jackson, you very much. Like, uh, we have time to answer one question. Would you like to answer one question? Uh, go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, does anyone have a question for Jackson you'd like to ask now? Um, actually, that's OK, because I actually have a question <laughs> I would okay. like to ask please. now. Um, how does a developer even get started working with Tencent? Uh, so first of all, we have to build relations, right? So such like this event, we can build relations with each other, and then we can have a primary uh, review at the games, at the business corporation mods, and then I will bring back the games to China. We have a very professional the, uh, the, the evaluation teams to see every games in the road, and then I will give you feedback. Even I, even we don't think your games is very suitable for publishing in China markets, but we will still give you some advice that how to change your games and how to make some change to feedable for the Chinese markets. Jax, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you, everyone here.